Also, a little bit more tilt down of her shoulder on the right side will we'll keep that ball closer to the ankle so she can clear her right hip a little bit better. Are you ready to grow your bowling game and find more success? That is entirely up to you. And if you're ready, we are here to help. Another episode of Analyze This, coming up on The Art of Bowling. Hi, Coach Arthur here, and welcome back to The Art of Bowling, your resource for bowling tips, tricks, and techniques to help you bowl your best. I'll tell you what, I'm really having a blast analyzing all your bowling deliveries, and a lot of Team AOBers have submitted their videos, and they are all queued up for analysis. Thank you for your submissions, and we'll see you on the channel soon. So let's get started with today's episode of Analyze This. Today's episode, we're going to be dealing with a Patreon member. Her name is Vicki Wong. I was really looking forward to doing this video as soon as I could, because Vicki is something of an oddity out there in the fact that she's a two-handed woman bowler. What? You know, times are changing. The ladies can do stuff now. And you're gonna have to learn how to deal with that. And this is the first one I'm getting a chance to analyze myself. So, here we go. Oh yeah, but the back swing, right? The back swing? Yes. Oh yeah, but the back swing, right? The back swing? Yes. Yes. I met Vicki at Jib Lane's. Um, she's from Queens, New York. She saw me and, and the two people she was with, they saw me. I was talking to somebody at the desk and when they came up to pay for their bowling, they recognized me. I don't know how to put this, but kind of a big deal. She was a subscriber to the channel. Vicky's timing is very good. Not from the start, but we got her to swing that ball into the swing in the second step. Um, she got it back pretty well. I would really like to see her learn how to slide down the line, but she really came in with, with pretty good balance. And that's due to everything being in, in a decent place in timing in her swing. That's a great job, Vicky. The problems that Vicky is having, her release of the ball is a little too far away from her ankle. This is due to her getting the ball inside of her head in the backswing. If you look at where she brings the ball back at its peak, you can see how the ball is not lined up underneath her head. And then when she releases the ball, it's way outside of her swing area. You can see where her elbow is turning out. And what Vicky needs to do is kind of pull that ball out towards her right. Now, we, we, we've had this information before with one-handed bowlers. But the same thing would apply to her. To try and swing the ball further to the right, you know, take a 25 degree angle behind her um, and, and swing towards that area so we can get that ball underneath her head the entire swing. Um, also, a little bit more tilt down of her shoulder on the right side will we'll keep that ball closer to the ankle so she can clear her right hip a little bit better. I'll tell you what, Vicki also, as, as a good thing, she stays behind the ball very well. And if we look at her shot go all the way down the lane, um, you'll see how it splits the eight and the nine pin um, and, and really drives through the pins. So she is underneath the ball on that strike. And Vicky's problem is more ball speed than anything else. And that's due to the ball kind of pulling her off a, a little bit off balance, um, but just not being able to, to have it close enough to her body to drive enough power from her hips. Ready to grow your game? Send your videos to our Facebook page, Art of Bowling. If you're looking for more robust analysis from me, join me on Patreon and let's really get to work on your game. Thanks for watching and see you on the lanes.